Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Talented, the randomized talent tree roguelite that I'm excited to be back to here today. Extra so because we got ourselves a new class unlocked. I did a run with the warrior. I unlocked the summoner here. Conjures powerful creatures to do his bidding, but struggles when fighting alone. Uses magic points, which I believe is just the exact same. It's the same as the wizard there. So in we'll go to see what that's all about. We got couple options your next three basic summons have 10 more health and move slower or summon two friendly little blobs dealing double your helper damage i think we'll go with that one right i think that makes sense wait we summon snails as our attack okay first of all let's probably bump up the speed for a little bit we summon snails for attack there's our slimes Huh. So they bump into the enemy and then they kind of like keep on going. We can send the slimes in different directions. Okay. Monches will now appear. So, what kind of stuff are we dealing with? We got cooldown ability, we got health up, we got magic up, standard stuff there. Got a mystery talent already. Whenever a helper takes damage, they deal an additional two damage until they die. So the snail gets bumped into once and then attacks them back for more? Huh? Snails have a 5% chance of having a flame shell that leaves a trail of flames dealing a damage to enemies that it pass through. Hmm. Okay. It's a, like a crazy amount of experience up here. Lifesteal up. Increase your lifesteal chance by two, which heals you five health on enemy kill. Almost like a necromancer vibe here. I think I'll go for the magic up. We'll grab a whole bunch of experience up because it is kind of the early game here where that kind of stuff don't matter. We're just going to run the two times speed until we run into some kinds of issues, which honestly might happen pretty quick. This character seems weird. The bats seem a little bit spooky for us. Bloop, bloop. They seem pretty fast. I mean, if we have a, a snail just, like, at the ready for them, it's not a problem. Enemies gain 10% movement speed. Nothing wrong with the one ring. Lower cooldowns. We'll get the Tenacious Demons to help her when they take damage. They deal an additional two damage until they die. And then I think it only makes sense to move up towards the one ring. The question is... Which one of these links up? If either. I mean, there's a chance that neither do, I guess. But yeah, I think... So the one ring is clearly something you can get on any class. Alright. Bop. Bop. Blip. Send it. So we definitely can't spam our uh, summons right now, but also these waves are very easy right now as they should be since the beginning. Enemies have a 5% increased chance to be elite. Is a good find. I can't tell. Spawn a gravestone at the start of each night. If there are at least two of them active, your helpers gain three attack damage. Gravestones, gravestones applied to K when hit, doing two damage per second, and when they die, they spread it. Interesting. Okay, so I was joking. I was hoping one of these would connect, so I guess... It's not over here, so I guess it's gonna be... This way. Got one... Yeah, okay. Alright, we'll get it next time. Helpers have a 5% chance of summoning a gravestone when they die in combat. Okay. Oh, god. So we're supposed to keep two gravestones, but they you spawn it that far ahead? Where a bat is just gonna run down and blast it. So right now, I think we basically just want to keep a snail. You have to be a lot more preemptive with the summoner. Than like any of the other classes. We need to make sure there is a snail in every lane. Lorges will now appear. I get five talent points. One, two, three, four, five. We're doing that no-brainer. And then we'll figure things out from there. Another flame shells. Grave sacrifice. Helper damage up. 
Is there any more of that that I missed? No. So HP regen is a thing. We just have not lucked out. You know, it's a randomized talent tree. We might we might get a bad one. We might get one that's honestly not that great. Let's move my speed down to 1.5 times for a sec. So where's the fire trail, man? Okay. So if the fire trail one dies, the fire trail is pretty small. It lasts a long time, though, at the very least. Okay. Weird character. Oh, what? Whoa, I thought we were done. The slimes have very little health. Nights feel five seconds longer. That's just that's just fine, honestly. Okay, so now enemy or our units can summon gravestones. Your active helpers return to you, healing them to full health points and granting them five max HP when they arrive. What the hell? Summon five friendly flies. Five HP, four damage. Wait, so you don't do... Oh, well, four is just what we've got. So maybe it just means they do the... Okay. They do the summon damage. Yes, yeah, speed up is definitely an issue for us. Hello, Lorges. We don't... We're probably not going to like... Um, enemy quantity either, unless... I don't know, yeah. Without an attack speed upgrade or, like, piercing, I feel like it seems like we could get overwhelmed pretty easily. Which is funny that that's the, uh... That's the warrior's thing. Enemies spawn 10% more frequently. I do want this HP regen, or mana regen. But this gets us lots of distance. Grave sacrifice. Two grave sacrifice. We can get lots of graves. We, can, we should probably grab these helper damage ups when we feel like we have a freebie. Your snails have a 10% chance to become spectral, passing through enemies they hit and applying feared. Reversing their movement and stopping their abilities for three, uh, three seconds. Okay. That's pretty good. It's, what, a 10% chance for that, though? It's certainly not reliable. But now we can spawn some gravestones a lot more often. Interesting. This is a, this is a neat and weird class. Boop, boop. All right. I'm curious what other kind of gimmicks this can get up to. I'm also surprised I'm not seeing any, like, uh, summon HP upgrades. Enemy waves continue, or contain an additional enemy. We're definitely making our way up here. Tenacious demons. That's this, right? Yeah. Another Grave Sacrifice. So we're going to be able to spread lots of poison. If I'm only putting one point in, let's grab one of the helpers. We should get this too. But So how many? One, two. One, yeah. One, two, three. Three. I guess I thought there was more. Oh, it's because I see one up there. Oh my lord. They do block hits. That's kind of an interesting thing about them. Alright. The fire snails are very curious. The summons to the north and the south fly off the screen so fast, too. So they get wasted. 
I guess the bring your summons back to you and they get more health. I, I get it, by the way. Says he wants more health, won't, you know, didn't take that. I get it. I'm talking like a straight up passive upgrade. There's no passive upgrades that's just your summons have five more health on the talent tree. There is an enemies gain 35% more health. Spook trail. Grab a little bit of that. I'm probably going to want the mana regen. I'll tell you what. Damage up, mana regen, mana regen. That seems pretty good to me. So far away. One, two, three, four, five. Five, maybe six, seven, eight, nine. Nine points for that ability. And it brings them back. It brings them back and heals them. You know what? That'd be really... That'd be a lot better with the other starting ability. I think that's the angle that I'm thinking of. Plus, the, maybe there's just a... There's probably a blue talent. Right? Like a blue talent that helps me out. I wasted a spooky snail down bottom. Alright. I mean, so far, so fine. Spooky snail. The spooky snail is really good. It's a shame it's a, um, a purple, so we're not going to be as likely to get him. Enemy movement speed. Yeah, 10%. All right, now what do we go for? I guess if we did this. Yikes. Yikes. We could bring back the spooky snail to us and make him run through twice. That's kind of interesting. We'll just have to watch our character for, like, the little purple thing to show up, like that. Like, I, I know when the spooky snails show up just because of the thing by my character. Like, if that one's spooky to the left. Boop, boop. Do we want the... F we probably want the flies. Probably go over to that too. I'm feeling strong though. Like, if Busters now appear and enemies gain 35% more health. Okay. Your active helpers return to you, healing them to full, granting full health points and five max HP when they arrive. Feels slightly synergistic with this. But that doesn't link back down. Hmm. Whoop. Yeah, we summoned one, but we can't summon the or press our ability. Kind of waiting for a spooky snail. Does it make sense though? So we bring him back, because he was not going to kill anything. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's all right. Feels like it's going to cause some problems. Bring him back so he can kill something. There we go. He got a triple kill that he otherwise wouldn't have. Triple kill that I wish you saw. All right, that's good. Definitely like almost running out of mana there. Additional enemies and f more frequent spawns. Terrifying. So there, we know that wherever that was, that got turned into a blue talent. They do nine damage. Okay, so they scale on the helper damage. That makes sense. I just, I, I assumed. So five flies doing nine damage. Seems silly. So if they have 
they each can take a hit too. I mean, it's pretty silly. And each of them can spawn uh, extra mines. All right. Yeah, that's not bad. Whoa, that guy was crazy. Ooh. So yeah, shooting the flies in all four directions, like a, you know, down, left, up, then right. Enemies spawn more frequently and get more movement speed. That's, this is a nightmare. I'm leaning towards cooldown and mana regen up there. Bombshells. Snails have a chance to explode. Sure. No snails were harmed in the making of this run. I think we'll move through this way. Because these probably connect there's something over here yeah some cooldown would be really handy bring them all back It's a weird one. So I think we wait for the flies. We bring them back. Ah, and then we let them kind of rip through everything. Because the flies with the extra five health, as small as that seems, it's a big deal. Thought the wave was over. Now it is. Nice feel longer. Enemies get 35% more health. We have that right. We do. Spawn a gravestone at the start of each night. If there's at least two, you gain 5% chance to lifesteal. I'm going to be honest. That seems pretty bad. Increase the health points of all helpers by 50% increase their movement speed. Uh, uh, bu 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 yep, yes. That's of the utmost importance. Life stealing an enemy has a 25% chance to grant 25% extra experience. Interesting. Okay. Seeing the flies kind of just rip through everything is very funny. God, what I wouldn't give for just a way to get more spooky snails. We should probably reduce the speed at some point here. Oh! Okay, stuff is moving pretty darn fast. Let's... Reduce the speed down to like 1.25. Okay. There we go. That should completely protect us from the sides, right? Surely. My mana is very sick. Oh boy, we just ran out there. Whoo! Oh my, oh my. Additional waves will now continue, or enemy waves continue additional enemies, get more frequent. Let's just make sure we get that before we do anything. Summon a friendly mega blob that splits into two little blobs on death. I'll grab one point in this. I think, yeah, Tenacious Demons... You have 45 health. Okay, now now we're talking. Now we're freaking talking. We 
Yeah, I just really don't care about that one. That was, that was the first one where I'm like, I can just skip that entirely. Who cares? Oh, baby. The health increase is so good. And them being slower is good. It means they leave the screen less quickly, meaning they don't get as wasted. I'm gonna be honest, it seems like a requirement. If we get enough cooldown reduction, we could make it so they never leave. And that is a big deal. All right, we're looking for some cooldown reduction now. Mana, 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 mana. Thank you. Just want to protect them. Yeah, that's crazy. Queens will now appear. They contain an additional enemy. Is there a, there's no cooldown reduction path to get here. Spawn a gravestone at the start of each night. If there's at least two gravestones, your helpers gain three attack damage. Not the worst. Mind rend. Meh. Couple cooldown reductions down there. In a row. This one here up for grabs. It's tough, because we clearly ran out of mana at the end, so like... <laughs> Alright. Can we keep that big boy slime alive for, like, ever? Four, three, two, one. Spam it, spam it, spam it. We protect him. We heal him back up to full. Oh, now we're talking... Make sure we protect them. Okay, well, we're never, we're never going to be able to keep them from running off the edge at the top and bottom, are we? One can only assume. Okay, but that means we only have to attack the top and the bottom. This is crazy, though. Okay, three, two, one. Spam it. Good. Wait, we, we saved one. On top of the fact that their damage keeps going up, we actually maybe should go out of our way for that. Okay. Alright. Alright, I love this angle. Enemies gain more health. They contain additional enemies. Where was... There, there was one we didn't grab, isn't there? Uh, we didn't grab that one. Uh, it's a little out of the way. It's a little out of the way. A little bit of cooldown reduction would be nice. We don't need a ton. Let's grab the ones that... I mean, that one at least revealed... A little bit of map at the same time. Which is appealing. It's obviously map over here, but is it map I care about? Grave sacrifice. They have a chance to spawn additional grave. Uh, well, there's a couple cooldowns on the way. This might actually be the end of that section up here. Come on back. Uh. 
no, oh my, you almost escaped, mister. Three, two, one. We need him to run into enemies. If they don't run into enemies in the top and the bottom, they, uh, they get to get away. Okay. Oh, big boy. Oh, boy. Checking that mana regen. We don't really want to be firing off too many shots down south. Alright, good. This is stupid and I love it. This is stupid and I love it. More movement speed, additional enemies. Want a little bit of that regen. There's clearly a section down here. It's another mind rend. What wave are we on? 18? I don't care about mind rend. Is that a dead end? That's a dead end. Oh no! Wait. Wait, what? It's a frightful motivation. Apparently I was connected to that. I'll take it. Frightful motivation's not bad. Okay. Step one. Mesh. Slime. To the side. Okay. Bring him back. You good for cooldown? Alright. This is so silly. This is a very silly run. This is not where I thought we were going to be taking this one. And I love it for it. The fact that, like, none of them are dying either is crazy. Zoop. It's a lot of slimes. We gotta prioritize the, the whistle when we're getting this low on mana. And less th prioritizing the slime. Because do we get a full bar by the time the whistle comes back? We do. So we have roughly enough mana to just keep them alive. Enemies gain more health, increased chance of being an elite. So yeah, a little bit of mana regen. Is maybe like the best thing we could get right now. Short of like, I don't know, some kind of crazy talent that I don't know what it would be right now. We just, we factually know that helps. I think let's try and move in a direction of, of finding something new though. It's fine. Some cooldown, some mana regen. Help us out. Cooldown. I could obviously get this. This I don't care about, but it's bringing me into a new section. Oh my lord, please. Helpers spawn a tiny spectral buster on death, knocking back enemies it passes through. I'm not getting there in time. Those are at least pretty good. Three talent points. We could just get up there and get that regen. Surely there's regen I can get to easier, though. Once That's better. Is there a regen? There's probably a regen that's one point away. 
This is night 19. Oh, this is night 19. It's night 19. Oops. Alright. Just spam those. Alright, good. Ooh, boy. Spooky. These ones with the shields, uh, suck. Don't like them. Come back. Them. Is the mana region good enough for me to spam my slimes and my whistle? I feel like probably not, because we got a lot of cooldown reduction at the same time. Ooh, the guy's almost escaped on the bottom. Yep. Keep that cooldown reduction. You ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. And the thing is, the more times I pull them back, the, the more health they have, the less likely they are to die. Uh, additional enemy, increased chance to be elites. Oh, man. Lifesteal. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four... Hey. We'll get the gravestones. Alright, that'll work. That should be more than enough, right? And we should be fine. I'm pressing the button, it's not going. There we go, that was frightening. Okay. Just wanted to get a lot of spam going for the beginning part. The music is just nuts. I don't think we need to be that concerned about uh, them running off the screen on this level. Because I feel like they're going to keep on getting stuff that knocks them back. Obviously, I'm going to keep on going for the whistle as much as I can, though. Go, go, go. We are sh more than fine. We got set up. I could start... I could probably do something else like a... Um, I could probably do some flies. But, like, I don't really need to, and it risks some stuff. Ooh, those guys almost made it on the bottom. It's the funniest chaos music for the situation we have at hand. Which is not that stressful of a situation, really. Speed up. We just need him to not leave the screen. That's the whole thing. You should do it. Lol. Silly. Very silly. Mastery 5 survived. Oh, I didn't do six. That's that's fine. That was it was plenty. Upgrade decay and spread it faster. Gain bonus rewards from life stealing. Summon skelebobs and upgrade your helpers. Uh, I'm curious about that. More gravestones. Decay is definitely something we didn't utilize. Reduce your cooldown by ten percent. Increase your life steal chance. Woo. Oh. No unlocks this run. I mean, if you say so. I mean, I think that that's all that we had there uh, for these, you know, that's in the game right now. Alas, alas, that is that.
And that's going to do it here for today. That might do it here for uh, for Talented as well. What I really wanted was just to check out all the different characters. I know they have more play styles and they have more talents and stuff like that. Uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll be back tomorrow with more Talented or maybe that's going to be where we call it. It's two bucks. If you're like, what are you doing? You're not doing the builds. It's two dollars. Get the game for two dollars. It's, it's worth it. Uh, it's going to be continually updated. No promises that it's going to stay at $2 when it gets updated. I don't I don't know the deal with that. I have not looked. I guess I could look right now. One sec. That's why the music stopped. Usually, uh, will the game be priced differently after early access? Yes. We plan to raise the price as we deliver new content and features. So if you're interested in the game, if it looks fun, get it right now while it's $2. It's, that's cheap, dude. I don't know what to say. Uh, it's going to be worth it. You can find the way to scrounge up a couple bucks if it uh, looks like a good time. And I think it's worth it's worth that price for sure, right? Alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Roguelikes and more every single day. My name is Retromation. Like I said, check out the channel. Roguelikes. More. Every day. Thank you, thank you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.